Hello and welcome back to episode 4, club 2 of this Rags to Riches playthrough. We are currently at Newport County and today we have got the third round of the FA Cup. A very interesting tie indeed away to Cholton. It will be good for us in terms of the money it will bring into the club, especially being the away side as well. But hopefully we can pull off an upset and we can get the job done to see us into the fourth round. One additional member has been come into the squad we have signed Jordan Garrett we spoke about him before he has put pen to paper on a one-year deal on £1,000 per week comes in as a right winger one of the best right wingers that we've arguably got in the squad but can also potentially play as a striker as well so we've got a little bit of extra depth there on that right wing and the striker position with everyone picking up them injuries we've still got three people out it was wise getting an extra player in and look to build for next season but without further ado let's get the intro underway and i'll bring the game back when we're in the dressing room with the boys <laughs> So here we go. The team sheets have been submitted. It looks like Cholton have only made two changes to their starting lineup, which means, personally, I think they're going to go for quite a strong team out there. They've got Harvey Vale. Is that the Harvey Vale playing for them? Surely that can't be. But anyway, it looks like they're going for their pretty much strongest team, which is not encouraging, to say the least. But let's go for assertively... I know we are the underdogs here, but go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. No response. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> a little bit of a different walkout. We've come out from the corner of the ground this time. And what can we do this afternoon? The pressure realistically is all on Cholton. Can we get a giant killing and do an upset in the cup? Or is it going to be a one-sided affair? Even if it is, I just hope it doesn't dent our confidence too much in terms of our league progression Thomas here with the ball from the throw in into Isgrove loose ball this them type of balls that we need to cut out we're just making silly mistakes luckily Dimitrioff 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 comes across and puts the ball out for the corner but it's it doesn't matter they've just they're just too strong for us aren't they really let's be honest we're already 1-0 down five minutes played this could get embarrassing if we're not careful what we might do is actually drop this down to cautious rather than be playing on balanced. There's no point. We want to be hitting them on their counter-attack and let them come on to us. Garrett almost gets the ball back across for Tavide, but unfortunately just doesn't connect the pass. We just need to have a good account of ourselves. That's all I ask for. It could be two. It's two already. It's two already. This could be bad. Seven minutes played, 2 0 down. Divide into Garrett. Lovely. It was a good it was a good idea, but just awfully executed. Power on the pass was far too much. Haynes steps in well. Tavide. Broadbent. Can we get one back? Oh, straight at the goalkeeper, but he fumbles it, it goes out for a corner. Can we do anything from the corner here? Haynes with the delivery in. Unfortunately, no one's there to get on the end of it, but we do recycle the possession. We've got it back now. Garrett, Haynes, can he get his ball across? He can. Oh, it is Grove, but he falls to the smallest player on the pitch. We win the ball back again, though. Sustained pressure for us at the moment. Unfortunately, we can't make it pay. 15 minutes played. No other highlights as yet. The damage has pretty much already been done in that first 10 minutes of play, going down 2-0 early on in the game is really not the confidence of the lads but we're going to give them a bit of encouragement we've got another highlight here for them we do do well with it though divide what can he do here takes on his man beats him gets around the outside cuts it back broadbent it's absolute there's no composure behind that shot possession here for Charlton he's playing it around nicely you can really see the quality of the championship side in these bit of passage of play back to the goalkeeper they're just toying with us now playing with it for fun Harvey Vale it must be the Harvey Vale he's incredible oh good tackle though good tracking back gets the tackle in early ball out but unfortunately Garrett couldn't get there but it doesn't amount to anything for Charlton so the highlight ends 
30 minutes played. And again, going out to Cholton isn't a bad result. It's just the way that we conceded one of them goals for a stupid error. Oh, here we go. Dangerous free kick. Ooh, goes over the crossbar. Luckily, it didn't challenge Day. Free kick for us this time. What can we do with it? Absolutely nothing. Why is the centre-back taking that free kick anyway from that range? All over top into Dividey. Collects well. Ah, oh, he's hit the crossbar. Luck is just not on our side. Two minutes of additional time here. That's probably going to be it in terms of this half. So let's get the boys into the dressing room. <sighs> what do we say here? I'm going to go with, look, you know as well as I do, the first half wasn't good enough. Show them what you're all about in the second half. Some of the boys were nervous about coming back out into the pitch, but they need to forget about that. If they want to start climbing up the leagues, we need to start performing against these bigger teams to prove that we actually belong higher up in the leagues. Throw in here for us, Sinclair. Just playing it between themselves at the back at the moment. But love the ball to divide. He does win the header on, but there's no one running through to collect it, unfortunately. Charlton with the opposition, the possession again now. Back into us, though. We've intercepted it well. Garrett, the new signing. Into Haynes. Broadbent. Oh, that's an absolute screamer. That's an absolute rocket. Let's have a look at that again. You can't really ask for much more from this type of shot. Look at that. He lays it off. And without even thinking, he absolutely puts his boot right through the ball. And it's straight into the top right-hand corner like a precision missile. Haynes here with the throw-in. Is the momentum going to be on our side and we can maybe claw something back from the game? With a ball like that, it's definitely not possible. Harvey Vale's here. Oh, Day does well to keep out the third goal of the afternoon. Corner for Charlton. They have scored from one already. Oh, they almost scored again. We're not doing very well with picking up their players in the box on the corners. We've got a free kick in their half. Broad bent into weight. Lovely ball. Tavide's there. Oh, he's brought it back. It's level. It's 2-2. The media had written us off. The Sky Sports pundits at half time were absolutely saying that the game was dead and gone. But we've come back in the second half with a little bit of positivity and we've managed to claw it back to 2-2. Tavide with a fantastic finish to bring us level. They're going to check for offside. There's no VAR in this competition at this stage yet. But we're here and we're going to put that into the back of the net. It was easily onside anyway. It's back to 2-2. What can we do from this position? We're going to encourage the boys again. We have a free kick in our half. Sinclair was playing it off. Thomas into Isgrove. But that's a poor ball. But he wins the ball back. Broadbent. Isgrove. Can he get his ball into the box? Back to Thomas. Sinclair. Ah, oh, it's poor. That final third just let us down there. Twice. 60 minutes played. Is an upset on the cards. Or are we going to get caught out? Or we've got a corner to defend. Let's get rid of it. Oh, Day comes out lovely off his line. Good command of his area there. Where's he going to play this? Long ball down the field. Fortunately, his Grove can't get the loose ball. Into weight. What can he do with it here? He's got to be patient. He's got to wait for the right ball. <laughs> his Grove to wait. Oh, but penalty. Surely, ref. Surely that was a penalty. Isgrove. Oh, lovely. Oh, Tavide's there. It's free. It's free. Tavide's got his second of the afternoon. Who would have fought it? It wasn't Isgrove that made the ball. I was too excited. Dimitriov or whatever his name is. Lovely ball. Tavide goes around the goalkeeper and manages to tuck it away. That is absolutely fantastic. We're going to go ultimate time wasting. Of course we are. We're free it. 3-0 up. I wish. It's 3-2 against Charlton, the championship opposition. Playing on that line again. Look at that. That's the balls I was talking about. Not to his chest. Play it in behind and let him run onto it. He's much better as a poacher rather than a target man. Can we hold on? We've got 20 minutes left of the game. All we need to do is see out the next 20 minutes and we'll be in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Some of the players have been absolutely outstanding this afternoon. The player ratings are high. They've got a dangerous free kick. Oh, it's got... Oh, it come off the post and no one was following up the man. It's free, free. It's been an absolute beauty of a game to watch here for the neutrals. But look at this. 
our days nowhere comes across unfortunately if he stayed in that position he actually would have done with that but not a single Newport County defender come back and tracked him that's the disappointing again errors 80 minutes played here we're going to encourage the boys again realistically we don't want <laughs> extra time but it looks like it might be going to extra time unless they can have the last say here we get in unless we can have a mum final say wait into Garrett or Garrick shall I say Broadbent Sinclair Thomas Isgrove can we do something with the ball here can we get it on a plate for the strike it goes out for a corner I guess the corner was that poor we didn't even get to see it but we see a throw in here wait with the ball in oh Garrett was there but he just couldn't get his head on target Broadbent Haynes all bent again to void oh he's hit the post or is the keeper touched that onto the post i don't know that was almost another goal for him this afternoon charlton were offside we're in the 92nd minute of additional time well second minute of additional time is there one last chance one last chance for the upset or for the heartbreak it could be the heartbreak oh haynes with a lovely track back and a lovely tackle there corner to defend can we defend it we can the header goes over the crossbar that should be full time it is I'm guessing it's going to extra time which is not ideal but we are proud of the draw of course it doesn't go to extra time I just thought it goes to a replay doesn't it so we'll have another game against Charlton to try and fight back but of course we'll be at home with the new Port County fans and hopefully that can sway it in our favour yeah, Lee Bowyer. Yeah. He was absolutely slating us in the pre-match press conference, saying how, how he was so fortunate to have drawn a lesser side that he could rotate his team. One, he's a liar, because he didn't even rotate his team that much. He only made two changes. And two, ha, in your face, Lee Bowyer. Yeah. What you get when you come up against a manager of my stature in the game. <laughs> anyway, let's praise Tavide, because of course... He was absolutely fantastic in front of goal. Almost got his hat-trick as well in them dying minutes. Could you imagine? A Tavide hat-trick to send us through to the fourth round. It would have been unbelievable. But we will concentrate on our next game. And we have got Cholton again. Fair enough. We don't have any other games. It goes straight to Cholton at home for the third round replay. So let's get that underway then, shall we? After that superb performance. And to be fair, some of the performances that he's put in in the recent weeks... We've actually made the decision to take George Broadbent off of the transfer list. I think we we actually will need him in the squad. I, I don't really want to pay him two grand a week. I'm not going to lie. I could reinvest that a lot better in my opinion. Let's have a look here. Gillingham managers come back to us and said that Robert Sinclair's not being played in his right position. He wants to play him as a defensive midfielder. Well, we don't play with a defensive midfielder. I'm sorry. Let's talk to him. I wasn't here when you agreed it. I'm just going to say it's going to be sorted. I don't want him to be recalled, but I don't play with a defensive midfielder. So unfortunately, that's not, I wasn't here to agree that. Not my problem, really, if you ask me. But as long as you don't recall him. We're going to have the fourth round of the FA Cup draw here. So we will see potentially who we get. I always think that the draw should be after the replays. Cause it kind of spoils it for the team that then win the replay, doesn't it, I suppose. Like the whole enjoyment of the draw is that you're excited to see who you're going to get. Whereas... We've still got to beat Cholton to then get to the next game when it could be, if we if we pull a big six from the Premier League, it would be absolutely fantastic, wouldn't it? But we might not be able to get there. But we've got the draw anyway, so let's have a look. We're going to draw all the teams and we would potentially have a tie against Middlesbrough in the Championship. So another Championship opposition if we can get through Cholton. This is what you want to see. And of course, you know, it's all well and good being professional and having more training, but there's a lot more risk of injuries. And... Something seems not right about this club. We get a lot of injuries, so he's now going to be out for two weeks. So he's going to miss the game against Cholton, and he was absolutely inspirational against Cholton with them balls over the top. So that is a big miss indeed. He's got a cold. He's got a virus. He hasn't even got a cold. Send to the doctor. Use the club doctor, but will that potentially risk giving it to everyone else? No, we're going to... Use the club doctor. What is all these injury? Tight Achilles for Joe as well. And now Joe Day's got a cold. What? And Williams is injured. Oh, he's only a youngster. Doesn't matter too much. Four to six weeks. This is ridiculous. He better be back because if not, I'm playing up one star goalkeeper. Yeah, he should just be back by the time that comes along. Scott Butler's now injured. 
What is going on? He's suffering from blisters. Out for three to six days. Injured through wear and tear. You'll be playing through the pain, young man. Because I need you at the back. We've already lost the other centre-back. So here we go. We are at the FA Cup third round replay. And we need to get our team selected. Look at the amount of bloody injuries we've got. He's going to be returning to full fitness in a day. But let's be honest, he's got blisters. He's playing. I don't care. This guy, mm, he's... I don't think he's ready to play. He's got a pulled hamstring. Yeah, we're not risking that. If he snaps his hamstring, he's done for for the whole season. So we might play... We could play Walters at centre-back, you know. He's got he's got the passing to be able to play them long balls up the pitch. I think we might play him as a centre-back. Or we could play a more natural centre-back in Scott Bennett. He's going to be more reliable, isn't he? Yeah, we're going to play Scott Bennett, actually. And instead, instead of Isgrove, because I wasn't really too impressed with him in the first one, we'll have Walters on the right, actually, instead, and use Isgrove as more of an impact sub. I think that's it. <laughs> Other than that, we've got injuries, fitness issues. Yes, yeah, everyone needs a rest. But let's get the boys into the dressing room. Let's try and give them that motivation to get us further in this cup game. Realistically, we were 2-0 down after 10 minutes and we managed to bring it back to 3-3. So you can't ask for more in that first leg. Let's just hope, fingers crossed, let's fingers crossed at home as well, that we can then put that second half performance in and actually get the job done this time around. So here we go. The starting lineup for the FA Cup third round replay. We've got Joe Day in goal, Thomas, Bennett, Butler and Haynes in defence. Sinclair and Broadbent in midfield with Walters and Garrick on either wing with Waite just in behind Tavide. And let's hope that Tavide can have an inspirational game like he did last time out. We're going to pump our fist. We've got nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. So let's show everyone what we are capable of. They all look composed. I'm ready to get the game underway. Let's just hope that we don't embarrass ourselves at home this time around. And we can take that form from the second half into the whole game this time around. And who knows what the score could be. If it wasn't for the woodwork in the last game, we would potentially have already been through to the fourth round and be preparing for a game against Middlesbrough. We do well to track back straight away and get the block in. 25 minutes played. Free kick here for us. Well, what are we doing with that? Now, if we concede from this, this is ridiculous. A stupid error. Get rid of it. Oh, days keeping us in it. But Butler's free kick there. Where, where are you playing that? Just play it short if there's no options. Throw him for them. They get the ball in our oh, Stockley's there. Of course he is. Of course he is. I'm going to drop it back down to cautious again as well. We seem to have played better against them cautiously last time out. I'm just going to encourage the boys. 30 minutes played. 1 0 to Charlton. We just need a bit of the magic from Tavide. Here we go. We've got a throw in. Wait, into Walters. Back to Thomas. Lovely ball. Penalty. Penalty. Thank you. We were denied a penalty in the first one. Haynes steps up. Can he bring it level? 36 minutes played. Ah, oh, it's gone straight into Maxwell. That's not what we want. I should really change the penalty taker. Why is the left back taking penalties? I don't know. It's not what we want to see. 43 minutes played here. Going to be going into half time 1 0 down, but that's fine. We went, we went in last time. In the, we went in the dressing room last time, we were already down. So the scoreline doesn't reflect the pattern of the game or the number of chances we've created. So keep going and we will get those eventually. Butler. Ball over the top to divide, but can't really keep it under control. Remember, again, we want them balls over, not at him. We want him to be running onto the balls. Throw in here for Thomas. Think, oh, it's just a loose ball again for Sinclair. Come on. Switch on. Wait. Into Sinclair. Butler. Garrick. Haynes. Wait. Tavide. Walters. Oh, right at the keeper. He saves it. It goes out for the corner. Can we do anything here from the following up corner? Wait. Lovely ball in, but the defender deals with it. It's an hour two on two. Can we deal with this? Can we defend it? Oh, absolute awful ball by them. If I was Lee Bowyard, I'd be absolutely fuming at that winger there. They had a two-on-two -two opportunity 
and he's crossed it straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Luckily, obviously, for us, though. Let's encourage the boys again. 56 minutes played. Highlight here for them. 59 minutes played. Free kick just inside their own half. Just playing it around. Broadbent steps in, though. It dispossesses them. Oh, ref! That's a red card, surely! Taking him out from behind, and it is! It's a red! So let's go on a more balanced approach. We need to push up the field. They're down to 10. Let's make it count. Oh, that's surely another red. Send him off, ref. Oh, and he's off. <laughs> They're down to nine. This is the best opportunity we've got. Come on. They're down to nine. What can we do here? This is where we, we really need to make it work. Corner comes in. Oh, come on. 66 minutes played. I don't want to go attacking just yet. I don't want us to leave it exposed. They're down to nine men. Let's make it pay. Come on, boys. We can do this. Sinclair, wait. Tavide. Walters. What was that ball, Sinclair? Oh, Tavide gets under control, though, but Walters just doesn't do anything with the finish. 70 minutes play. Oh, dangerous free kick here. Oh, Day smothers it. Love it. Early distribution as well. Gets us on the front foot. That's an awful ball. That is an awful ball. I don't want to make any changes just quite yet. Sinclair. Into Bennett. Walters. Ref. Oh, Thomas. Come on. Walters. Broadbent. Oh, how has it not gone in? The keeper is having an absolute outstanding game, unfortunately. Wait with no, no one there. Second chance. Oh, it gets cleared again. Right, we're going to go attacking. We need to go attacking. We're going to bring on Lewis Collins. Oh, I really should have been watching that. We might bring off... We're going to bring off him as well. We're going to bring off Garrett and bring on Isgrove. Come on, boys. They're down to nine. We need to be doing something with this. Let's make the extra two men count. There should be space all over the... No, don't shoot from there, Broadbent. We've got so much space. We're sitting and attacking. Let's get the ball up the pitch. Put him under more pressure. Lovely ball. Lovely ball. It's Grove. It's Grove. He's equalised. 78 minutes played. He goes crazy in front of the Newport County fans. Bennett has a great shot on target. Maxwell does it, but he can't stop the rebound. Is Grove's there. No one reacts and he tucks it in. 80 minutes played. Can we get one more goal? The decisive goal. Let's encourage the boys. It's going to go to extra time and then penalty. So really, Cholton, we are in the driving seat right now. They're going to be down to nine for extra time as well. They're going to be absolutely knackered. Sinclair. Oh, Maxwell saves. It goes out for the corner. Come on, let's do something with this free kick. Free kick corner. Oh, don't let them score though on the counter. Not when they're down to nine. They try and play it out and it just doesn't go an amount to nothing for them. 87 minutes played. Thomas. Into Broadbent. Oh, loose pass. Come on. Butler. Is Grove. Haynes. Oh, what are you doing? Play it on the floor. Haynes. Go on. Oh, just get it on target, please. I don't really want this to go to extra time because it's a pain for our players as well. We're probably going to get 20 injuries from it like we usually do. 93rd minute. I think this is going to be it. I think it is going to go to extra time. It is. We have got the two-man advantage, though. We need to really dominate in this, this extra time. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. Do we make any substitutes? No. We're going to keep it as it is. Into the dressing room. Start of extra time. This episode might be slightly longer than you're used to, so I apologise for that. But, of course, we can't not see this exciting action of extra time and potentially penalties unless we can go further forward. We're going to drop it from attacking just to positive. We don't want to rush it. We've still got a lot of extra time to play. So let's just be calm. We've got plenty of time to get the winner. Awful ball from their goalkeeper. Tavide. Oh, he beats the man. Oh, he can't score, though. He just nutmegged the defender. But the goalkeeper comes out on top. To be fair... Chris Maxwell is absolutely having a masterclass. He's got an 8.7 rating, and we know why. We've seen him, how many highlights we've had where we've just not been able to put it away because of his saves. Sinclair. Ball into Walters. Ah, don't shoot from there, Walters. That's awful. That is atrocious. 
we don't want the heartbreak of penalties with all the work that we've put in. One minute of added time in extra time. That's the end of it. Let's start the second half. Come on, boys. We've got this. We've got this in the bag. We just need a little bit of composure. Rawbent into Haynes. Isgrove. Collins. Isgrove. Rawbent. Collins. Thomas. Tavide. Ah. It's written in the stars that Tavide has got to score the winner, surely. We're going to go and attack him. Haynes. Broadbent. Haynes there. Oh. Sinclair. Thomas. Broadbent. Oh. We've seen him bang him in from there. So we can't complain about the positive nature of him. They're playing with no strikers at the moment. They're just literally sitting back and defending. Isgrove. What can he do here? Ball, lovely ball. Oh, Walters is there. Walters has scored it. Surely that's the winner. Let's go on to absolutely wasting time. Bring the passing and the tempo down. You know what we're going to do. We're going to go very defensive. They've got no strikers on the pitch. We're going to go cautious. They're going to have to throw men forward and we're going to hopefully try and hit them on the counter. Is the upset on the cards? Is David going to beat Goliath? Corner in. They defend it well, but Haynes is there. Bennett, Sinclair, they're just playing it between themselves, wasting the down, ticking down that clock. Haynes, lovely ball for Isgrove. What can he do? Walters, oh, soft, soft header, unfortunately. Absolutely soft header. What we will do, just to waste a bit of extra time before the corner goes off, we'll bring off Tavide, bring on Bright. Can we make an extra sub because it's gone to extra time? I think we can. I think we can. We'll bring off Broadbent, bring on Dyer. Dryer, sorry. And we'll just put him as a ball winning midfielder in defend. We're all just going to go all out for the win now. Just waste a bit of time. Bring them two subs on after the corner. Tick down the clock. Collins with the ball in. Thomas. Into Haynes. Broadbent. Isgrove. Can we get one more just to really secure the win? Divide. Walters. Oh, just levering it over the crossbar. Where's your composure, lad? Another highlight for us. Sinclair with the ball in. Can't do anything with it. Can he get another cross in? Thomas. Just playing it around nicely. That's it. The extra man counts now. The extra two men count. Walters. Oh, why are you still on the pitch? I thought I took you off. No, I didn't. Very defensive now. We don't want to give him any space. Walters into Sinclair. Thomas. Collins. Oh, oh, he's gone out for the corner. Just play it in the corner. That should be it. There's one additional minute. We're in the additional minute as we speak. 20 seconds in. Collins. Haynes. Don't let him hit us on the counter here. Just get back. Get into your positions. Let's just let's just keep switched on. Oh, oh. What is he doing there? He's played it straight into the goalkeeper and we're through. We've managed to do the impossible. We have upset the championship side and we are into the fourth round of the FA Cup. I'm proud of your performance out there and nobody, and that means nobody, probably even you lot watching at home didn't think we had a chance. But we have proved everybody wrong, so well done. But that concludes today's episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have watching it and playing it. I have enjoyed every single moment of it. If you would like to subscribe to follow along the journey, please do. Don't forget to hit that like button as well as it does help me a lot more than you think. And leave a comment down below. Who was your man of the match from the two Cholton games? But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the next episode.